What is up dudes? Welcome back to another video here on the Dude Gaming channel. We are back here on Dude Hardcore on the Hardcore Classic Official Servers. And yes, if you look at our level, we are level 52. In the last video we ended off as level 50 over the past couple days. I haven't had a chance to really record any. And I've just been kind of leveling on the side doing green and gray quests as usual. It's taken quite a while to do so, and we went back into Zulfrak and Older Men and whatnot to see if we can get a couple more drops. And we did not get any, any luck on that, but we did get this Demon Slayer. It doesn't have any cool stats. I mean, plus 99 attack power when fighting demons is cool. But it did have more damage and damage per second than our last uh, weapon. I don't even know if we still have it here. Yeah, we do. So, I mean... It's an upgrade, um, but yeah, that dropped for us. We haven't gotten really anything other than Smot's Compass. Increase your chance to dodge an attack by 1%. But yeah, we're about to head on into good old Maradon. Uh, we went ahead and got all the gems that you need for the Pariah's Instructions and the Amulet of Spirits. We've also finished up Shard Shadow Shards, Fragments. We got all 10 of these things. We haven't really done anything other than that, and we got the Field Cerulean Vial for Vile Tongue's Corruption. But uh, yeah, that's that's what's going on so far, but we are going to head on into Mardon once everyone gets here, which looks like they're getting close, so I will catch y'all inside. Alright dudes, we have made it into the purple side, the Wicked Grotto of Mardon. I'm pretty excited. We fought our way in just because of the 45 druid. We couldn't sneak around or anything like that. Um, I almost thought nothing was gonna uh, pop up. All right, looks like uh, that guy's down there. Oh yeah, these guys are all demons, so my sword's gonna. this guy so we needed this guy we just need um this gym so we just need one more gym I don't know which one it is one two three and four We just need number five, which is on the orange side, apparently. So we're going to trek all the way back outside the instance and uh, head for the orange side. And now we have finally made it onto the orange side, the Foul Spore Cavern. So the uh, one guy for the Pariah's instruction should be over here patting around somewhere in here. So... All these guys are going to be a lot lower level than us to begin with, and then once we slowly make it into like the princess area, then we will uh, obviously start seeing a lot higher levels. So we took down Noxian. Um, we did get the Solubrian Rod. We are still searching for the fifth gem from the cons. Um, we did get the Noggin Fokker quest done off camera, by the way. Just wanted to be able to get Noggin Fogger. I always love this stuff, so we're small and we're a skeleton. Might as well have some fun while we're here in Maradon. Truly, truly do not like this place, not gonna lie. But we are making it through here slowly but surely. We still have uh, this side, and then we'll have the princess side where we have to take on a couple of bosses. Pass on that, my bags are so full. Probably go ahead and drop the heavy leather. We can easily buy that again if we want. Alright. Go ahead and get Luca out, the squirrel. And we're going to continue on here. I think the next boss is the giant lasher guy. Let 
Yeah, it was a... Uh... Yeah, we'll have to find the fifth guy. I was kind of wondering if we had already killed him or not, because I didn't have the fifth one yet, so... But we're going to get some mana, continue on here, and hopefully we can uh, run into the con guy who's padding and get to the next boss here in Maradon. Alright, so we made it here to good old Razor Lash. I have no idea what Razor Lash drops. Let's look here. Nothing that we really need, to be quite honest, so... Maybe the shoulders would be decent? I guess. Not really. Suck to lose that armor, but... Oof. Good thing he got this pat. These guys actually usually can get nuked pretty quick. Assault band, eh? That's actually really nice. Um, honestly... We're gonna need on that. See, see who wins. Ice LOL. Grats. The 99. But... That's actually better than anything that could have dropped off Razor Lash, which is crazy, but we should be able to take this guy down pretty easily, level 48. I'm gonna calm down for a second. Let him get some aggro on this guy. And what do we get? Some sandals. Very nice for holy. I'm sure that druid will. I guess the druid does not need those. Very cool. We're gonna continue on here. Like I said, looking for that padding con and uh, see what bosses are next. Um, we still got. Oh, the next one's Lord Vile Tongue, and then we'll go down to Celebrast the Cursed, and then into the Princess side. All right, found the last and final guy. He was a. Uh, somewhere ahead of us. I don't have a clue where he was, but we did find him, thankfully. And there is the last and final gem. Go ahead and make invalid target. Place all the gems into the amulet of spirit. And that should make us the amulet of union. Very cool. You're right, dudes. We made it over here to Vile Tongue Seat. Um, we had to go through part of the, um, I guess, like princess area to get over here, which was a interesting trek through a lot of bile and like oozes and whatnot. It's like, yeah, we're gonna have to take on these Shadow Stalkers first because I think he stuns. Or his little, I guess he has some with him that they, they stun or something. I can't exactly remember. They backstab you or I don't remember. Alright, Vile Tongue, 15k health. Yeah, here they come. I feel like we should be taking on the Vile Stalkers, or Shadow Stalkers first, but just because of the, that exact reason. They all died at the same exact time. So that is both the Diamond and Rod. So now we just need to kill the uh, Celebros the Curse. And then we talk to his ghost, and then we do a little pat thing. Uh, takes a little minute, or a hot minute, to do. Did uh, somebody not... Shintek hasn't made. Cool. We're gonna make it down to Celebris the Cursed. Uh, do that quest real quick, once we get down there. But I guess we're just gonna be walking through the poison falls for a little bit, uh, avoiding a lot of this stuff on the side. Everything is starting to get higher in level for sure. Here is Celebros the Cursed. Alright, I guess he wants to kill these guys. I don't know if these guys have to be killed or 
if they pool or something with them? I don't know. Or maybe there's some kind of thing they know about this guy that I don't, so. Very cool. I do know um, he constantly spawns those uh, treants for him, so he's pretty much a druid. Um, not too sure how often, but yeah, I guess we're going to go straight into it. I'm going to throw a grenade. He's just humanoid. I was hoping he'd be undead or something, but he's not. Tingling roots. There's another one. And as soon as he drops... You can talk to him, so... Alright. So we own both parts. He's gonna take walk over here to the stone. I believe we turn it in over here. can assist with it. So pretty much uh, for anyone watching this, if you just let everyone turn in the quests to begin with, and then, you know, do the next quest, it makes it a whole lot easier, a whole lot faster, so you're not sitting here waiting. I ended up winning the, or getting the Grove Keeper's Drape. Very cool. I'm assuming he gives it to both of us. Yeah, there we go. Very cool. Alright, so the next uh, part of Maradon's jumping down and getting to Landslide, Tinkerer Gizlock, Rock Grip, and Princess Theradras. And there is the Scepter of Celebras, creates a portal, teleporting group members that use it to Earth Song Falls and Inner Mardon. So now you can just automatically get ported here instead of having to go through either the shadow or the purple or orange side. So we made it over here to the other side, Earth Song Falls. Everything is a lot higher level on this side, level 46 to begin with. Really cool that we got the Scepter of Celebris. Don't know if I'll come back here or not, but you know, it's there where we can just do the princess side instead of ever going back on the awful uh, beginning side of good old Maradon. But we're just going to continue along here. Yeah, we need to grab these guys, because they do pat, I believe. I'm just happy we're able to get all the quests here in Maradon. It's been very nice to get a ton of these quests out of the way while doing uh, these dungeons. They do give quite a bit of experience. I believe these guys, one of them... One of these guys, uh... Maybe it's the green ones, maybe? But pretty sure they silence. I can't remember correctly. But yeah, I mean, I've been kind of scared of these higher end zones recently, like going into Tanaris. Yeah, so they sonic burst, thunderclap when they die. Got you. Um, especially these higher end dungeons, oh, there's so much that could go wrong. Um, so, so much that can go wrong and you're just kind of screwed. You can, um, watch out for rock pat. Yeah, that's very, very true. But yeah, the, they're up there. The star on them. But like I was saying, 
There's so much that can go wrong. I know there's the Petri flask ordeal you can do where um, if something's going wrong, you run back as far as possible while leaving group. You hit your Petri flask. It lasts about a minute. And that's about how much um, the countdown is. There it is right there. You're going to have to come back a little bit further. Oh, Jesus. Alright, no biggie. We got this. Just kill the... These guys. As long as these guys do not get on our healer. Did the healer get that? Easy peasy. <laughs> Not what we wanted to do there, but at least we got a good tank. Uh, healer's a little under level, but he's pretty good at what he does, so easy, easy, easy. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna continue on. I think the next boss what we're about to run into is a landslide. He's just a giant old golem looking dude that, uh, you know, does landslides and knock you down, I believe. Alright, landslide is level 50. These uh, primordial behemoths were pretty interesting to say the least. They did an AoE that hits for 200 each. Um, not fun, honestly. Uh, so landslide sh probably, I think he knocks back maybe? I don't exactly know. It's been a very long time since I've done Mardon. It's been a couple of years like I said earlier, but man oh man. Not been a fun dungeon. Alright, landslide. I'm just gonna put my back to here. Even if he knocks me back, I'll fly into those jagged gems and get staved. Gotcha, so it's that. Okay. At least he doesn't hit while he's uh, doing that. I mean, that's that's one thing, right? Fist of Stone, Rage Claw, Helm of Healing. Very cool. Big healer mace, yeah. Be nice just to have for... Just, you know... As a paladin, I mean, not bad. I wouldn't like to have that. We rolled a 93 on it too. Ah, two primordial behemoths. That just doesn't sound fun. Oh, here we go. Go ahead and stun the other one. It's not hitting our tank too much. Apparently there is one that pats, so we do need to be careful of that. If we pull three of these guys, probably would not be a good thing whatsoever. Go ahead and throw wisdom on everybody once again. And we are closing in on good old princess. Alright guys, we are finally on good old <laughs> princess Theradras. She is one ugly princess, my god. Yeah, I go drop after the dust, so be very, very careful of that. Princess, honestly, is one of the first bosses, I think, that really has... That could really kill anybody. You have to be very, very careful. Um, it's not a hard fight, but at the same time, you just gotta be careful. That's all it is. Alright, let's do this. Alright, Princess. There used to be a thing where she'd drop through the floor in the middle. I'm sure that's still a thing, but all right, I'm just gonna let them get give get aggro. Do not want to pull aggro. She is on like weird, still looking flip flops. What in the world? Just gonna come over here, heal ourselves. Let them get that aggro back. 
That was one thing I remembered in classic vanilla is uh people being really stupid with this boss. Go ahead and run back. Melee really can't do too much on this boss. It's really hard. Alright, let Ice get the the aggro. Go ahead and throw a grenade down. There goes the fear. I would use my bubble, but just in case anything crazy happens, I'll always save it because you just don't know. You really don't. And down goes good old princess. Very cool. There's the eye of Theradress. Very, very good. We're going to go ahead and pick up the seed of life. Very cool. And then, um, yeah, that's that's Maradon. Uh, we still do need to go kill two different bosses. I don't know if they'll want to do Tinker or Rock Grip, but we'll see. There he is, Rock Grip. We're all jumping like Navy SEALs down here. So this guy's... I guess Dot, uh, whatever it is. Bleed is very bad, so you do not want to get the aggro accidentally. But you do want to kill him as soon as possible. I don't know if we can stun him. He's, he's unstunnable. Do need to kill him faster. Alright, down goes rock grip. That is not the thing we wanted. But very good. Very, very good for the healer. Alright, so the next uh, boss we're going to be doing is good old Tinkerer Gizlock. If this shield does drop, I'm going to need on it because it's actually really good. And there he is, Tinkerer Gizlock, just chilling in the back portions of this freaking instance in the middle of nowhere land, pretty much. He drops a pretty good sword for uh, mages and warlocks. Um, Pretty sure, I mean, prop paladins is not too bad. And then the shield I would take, honestly, just to have. Wouldn't hurt. And he drops the, the, the gun. Mega shot rifle. Very cool looking. But uh, yeah, that's... That's pretty much everything here in Mardon. I don't know where the hell that goes. Probably somewhere else. But, uh, yeah. I guess we're gonna get ported on out of here. We're gonna go turn in all the quests that we just did, which is pretty cool. Alright, dudes, we made it here back to Nigel Point. Turn in these quests. Go ahead and pick up that Thrash Blade. It's gonna be a lot better than the uh, Griffin Rider Stormhammer that we have now. And then we're going to make our way across Nigel Point to turn in the Vile Tongue Corruption. I think this gives us something else that we might... Yeah, the Branch Claw Gauntlets probably will wield these. Restore 2 health per 5 seconds. Didn't seem like a lot, but it'll be very helpful. We do lose 70 health for those, Thank you for returning this but adventure. we should be alright. Very cool. That's two upgrades with two quests. So we're gonna head down south, head to Willow, and then head to Centaur Pariah. What's up, Willow? Here's your carvings. <laughs> I knew you'd be back. So easy to convince. Honestly, for the right price. Is this even better? No. Might rock with that. Dark lady. I don't know, we'll see. But like I said, I'm going to head on down to Centaur Pariah next. And then I think... What is the last quest? Uh, we need to head on over to... Should have went to Dustwaller first because... Uh, that's okay. 
We'll do this quest, head over to Dust Wallow, and then I have to make my way up into Moonglade. The only way I can do that is I can fly to Astronar, make our way up into Philwood, I guess past the Emerald Sanctuary and make our way all the way up here to, uh, what is this? Talon Branch Glade, do a couple of the Felpaw. I think we should be okay to do this, kill six uh, Den Watchers, Avengers, and Shamans, and that's the only way we can actually get into um, good old Moonglade. So we just turned in the Pariah's Instructions and got the Mark of the Chosen. Has a 2% chance when struck in combat of increasing all stats by 25 for one minute, which is pretty huge. And then we put a point into Spiritual Focus because we just hit level 53. I guess for level 54 we'll go straight into Consecration, so we'll have an AoE ability finally on this valley. Uh, I guess our next stop is to head to Dust Wallow and then head north to Fellwood so we can head into Moonglade. Alright dudes, we have made it here to good old Fellwood, the Emerald Sanctuary. Pretty cool. Too bad there's not a flight path down here. We're not going to pick up any of those quests, but we're just going to make our way all the way north uh, to Talon Branch Glade and try not to get smacked by anything. What is that? What the heck? Let's see here. They're level 48. So I think they're higher 50s up north. I mean, Bellwood is 48 to 55, so we're pretty much almost there. But like I said, we're just going to make our way up this path, try to avoid anything trying to hit us. Uh, get this flight point and then try to do the Deadwood of the North. Alright dudes, we have made it here to Talon Branch Glade. Go ahead and get the flight path here. What is the flight Where path like, like here? You can go straight over the Aberdeen. Okay. Cool, cool. Let's see here. I don't think there's anything here except for a pet trainer and a druid trainer, which is kind of interesting. And then a hunter trainer down there. Weird spot for some uh, trainers out here, but we're going to make our way up to Nathian over here outside of the Felpaw village. Grab this quest. Wonderful. Uh, we got to kill, what, six Din Watchers, six Avengers, and six Shamans. We'll have to be a little careful because I don't know what level these guys are over here. It is a level 55 quest, so maybe they're high 53, 54s ish. So. We'll be careful killing these guys, but we're going to come up here and grab this quest real quick. So the ones on the outside are a little um, spread out, so we should be all right. Hey, this isn't too bad, so yeah. We're just going to go through here, kill some of these guys. Hopefully there isn't a close call and see what we can do. So we're able to find someone who invited us to a group. So this is pretty cool. This should make it a little bit easier for us. There is a Deadwood Ritual Totem. Very cool. Very cool. I don't know what this guy needs. Looks like he needs some Din Watchers. Pull this guy back. Alright dudes, we finished up that quest. That quest was honestly pretty difficult um, compared to what we have been doing. Wow, look at those. 17 strengths plus improve your chance to get a critical strike. Very nice. 
Alright, speak. Travel through Timbermall Hole and exit into Winter Spring. Speak with Salfa, who stands. Yeah, we're not going to do that. So, we can do that. Are we able to go in here without them being mad at us now? Let's just make sure before we get... No. Alright. So, how far are we away? We are a little under... 180 rep. So, just getting five feathers will be able to push us to where we need to be. Because all you gotta do is be unfriendly and they won't attack you. So, we're gonna head on down, do this real quick, and then uh, head on through. So, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of an idiot. I didn't realize you can do this quest down here that's uh, a lot whole easier than what the ones up, up north are. There are people in here destroying these guys, though. Yeah, I should have came in here and killed these guys before heading uh, north. So I had to walk all the way down here. Someone's already invited me to a group. Uh, so we're going to go through, kill these guys pretty quickly. Uh, get our rep with the timber mall up and head back north. Golly. All right, dude. So we made it back north after going south once again. Um, and all these guys, we are unfriendly with these dudes. So they're not, you know, friendly with us, but they uh, allow us to pass without attacking us. So we can finally make it here to uh, good old Moonglade after, I guess that was like a good 35, 40 minutes of uh, nonsense so we'll just have to jump down here and then you take this path to bet we can't talk to some of these guys but take this path and we're gonna head straight north here right into Moonglade I don't know if there's anything really dangerous in Moonglade I can't really remember I mean on the Druid we came here a couple times doing the Druid quest and I don't remember anything being too dangerous hopefully I'm um, just overthinking it, just like I do with every dungeon I go to, or dungeon, every zone I go to. Like doing those quests here in Fellwood <laughs> were not fun. I did not have fun doing that, especially the ones up north. They uh, they could have killed us so so easily. Anything your level or a couple levels above you, oh, so hard in vanilla. So. There is Moonglade. So we could have easily killed these guys and got through here, but it just wasn't worth it. It's easier just to do the other, get some quest experience. We already are four bars into 54 or towards 54, but here is good old Moonglade. We just have to make it up to the Shrine of Romulus. What it up, Keeper? Seed of life, here you go. So we did all that just so we can get 6k experience much worth it in my opinion but this is where we will end this video today we did all of maradon that was honestly not a fun dungeon in my personal opinion i've never liked maradon i don't like the beginning part the last part with like princess and stuff ain't isn't that bad so that's not too bad and then we turned in all the quests and we got to moonglade via um having to get reputation with timber mall so that wasn't that fun but you know we hit level 53 we're getting close to halfway to level 54 i think in the next video we are gonna take our chances here where is it searing gorge we have not touched it everything is green here now um so we want to get over there especially for the cot it's level 45 so we want to get over the Searing Gorge. I think that'll be a lot of fun. We There are a lot of spots here in Searing Gorge that can cause some major issues for us. Uh, falling into holes. The, um, what is it? What the flux? No. It's the Overseer Maltorius can be bad. The little golem hits so hard there in Searing Gorge, I believe. So definitely going to have to watch our backs there, but we'll probably be in Searing Gorge next video. Anyways, I appreciate each and every one of y'all for watching these videos. If you like this video, uh, leave a like and comment down below. And if you want to see more videos here on the Dude Gaming channel, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch y'all next time. Thanks, y'all.